Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about building our trauma in the imaging. Most common signs symptom nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. Predominant in male, more than female, likely due to association with trauma. In the imaging, contraction MCT is best imaging tool in acute trauma setting. Injury classifies hematoma with illustration. Hematoma, non enhancing intraluminal, intramural, and or paradurinal correction of the of increased attenuation. Intraluminal expansive over or tubular filling effects while spring apparent on upper GI series. Intramural muscle-like focal wall signaling plus minus intramural gas, eccentric narrowing of displaced lumen. Dunal laceration preparation, interruption of bowel wall, extravation of intraluminal content, and free retroperitoneal air, specific but not sensitive. Dunal wall sickening more than 3 mm, and increased attenuation free, plus stranding in retroperitoneum, sensitive but not specific. Associated pancreatic trauma in up to 42% of cases. This is the contrast in MCT in a 17 years old boy with abdominal pain after being kicked. So, retroperitoneal air posterior to the second and third portion of the duodenum, D2 and D3, and posterior to the right kidney. Adjacent fluid is also known. A duodenal illustration was found at surgery. Contraction and CT in a 16 years old with preparation from an ERCP, so active contrast extravation into a large hematoma that extends distant to duodenum, not the adjacent pneumoperitoneum. So find AP radiographs of gas outlining the right kidney and underlying the major right diaphragm. In this 11 years old man, excellent or trauma victim. And this is the contrast enhancity in an eight years old with a handlebar injury. So hyper enhancement of the D3 walls with retroperitoneal air and fluid. There is poor definition of the power at the junctions of D2 and D3 with preparation confirmed that at this level at sitting. Contrast and NCT means a 16 years old girl after a motor vehicle action, so feet air and fluid in the anterior pararenal space near D3 and D4. A preparation was found at this size during surgery. Other sounds in the two years old girl with pancytopenia and hematemesis after endoscopy with biopsy, so a bulky C shaped heterogeneous mass of D1, D2, D1, D3, consistent with an intraluminal duodenal hematoma. A lot of you from the, from an upper GI series in a patient 
demonstrate a large obstructive filling defect, expanding D1 consistent with intraluminal duodenal hematoma. Treatment Nanopratic hemodynamically step or patient bowel rest, nasogastric decompression, TPN, progressive symptom worsening, imaging theory, finding or undissolved absorption due to hematoma after 14 days may indicate non-operative management failure. Consider operative management or percutaneous drainage of hematoma. Non-operative failure rate for hematoma 5 to 10 percent. Operative hemodynamically unstable and patient with definite Evidence of preparation, duodenal primary repair resection, nasogastric decompression, drainage, and ciliary loric exclusion plus minus gastrointestinal stomach and biliary diversion consider for grade 3, 4, and 5. Disruption of duodenal Pancreatic complex may require andrectomy and gastrogenostomy or other ROI reconstruction depending on level of injury. State pancreatic godonectomy for extensive duodenal pancreatic complex injury. Thank you.